Welcome back, Math Party people. Welcome back, welcome back. We got a two-part for you here. Now we're looking at systems of equations with elimination, but I'm going to show you what happens when you're trying to eliminate. But remember, what you need is you need the same coefficient, the same number in front of the variable. Now, if you take a look at this question right over here, number one, you don't see that, do you? You know, let's just zoom in. Let's make sure our eyes aren't confusing us. I'm looking at this and I'm seeing that we have a seven on the X here and a four there, 14 on the Y and a seven on the Y here. How are we supposed to eliminate? Well, here's the thing, my party people. What do we know to be true when it comes to equations? Whatever you do to one side, you can do to the other. And you can do whatever you want, as long as you do the same thing to both sides. So here we go. Here's what's gonna happen in this video. In this video, I'm gonna show you what happens when, again, you don't have the same numbers to eliminate. I'm gonna show you how to modify one of the equations to get that done. And in the next video, that's a, it's a two-parter here, the next one I'm gonna show you when you don't have to multiply one of the equations by something, you've actually gotta modify both to get it done. So with that said, let's go ahead and have some fun, my party people. Let me show you this first one here. It's actually not terrible at all. Because remember, we're trying to solve this by using elimination and if we wanted to, again, all we need to see is the same variable, the same, the same coefficient with those opposite signs. So if I take a look right over here, we have negative 14, we got a positive seven. What would happen if I wanted to take that seven and make it a 14? How would I make that seven a 14? By multiplying by two, right? And so here's what we're gonna do, my party people. We're gonna multiply that entire equation by two. That's it. That is literally it. Watch this, like I'm gonna show you, this is gonna be pretty cool. I mean, it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and show this one here. I'm gonna rewrite it the same exact way. Watch this, my party people. Same exact way I'm rewriting it, but the second one, check this out. I'm gonna do this in blue. I'm gonna multiply the entire equation by two. When we multiply the entire equation by two, here's what happens. Two times four X, eight X. Two times seven Y, 14 y, two times negative 13, negative 26. Now, look at this masterpiece, everybody. Look at this masterpiece over here. We should be feeling pretty good because when we add these equations together, we have a negative 14 y and a positive 14 y. Booyah, that eliminates, that's good, that's what we wanted. And all we had to do was a little modification right there in the very beginning. That's all we had to do. And so with that said, my math party people, negative seven X right over here, plus eight X, that's gonna be a positive X, right? Negative seven plus eight is positive one. So that's an X that gets eliminated. And so on the right side, we have 26 minus, or excuse me, 21 minus 26, and that's gonna be negative five. So we have ourselves immediately understanding that X is negative five. Do we need to solve for anything else? No, we see it right there. A is the only one where X is equal to negative five and we're done. Again, if we wanted to, if we needed to solve for that Y variable, we can go ahead and plug it back in and solve. But what I'm doing in this video is showing you the technique where again, you need to eliminate or you want to use elimination, but the variables aren't quite lining up. Remember this, what you can do is you can modify one of the equations or even both, but you can modify one of them by just multiplying everything by the same number. That's it. Let's take a look at number two. Let me show you this here. So with number two, we have three X plus eight Y equals seven. You have seven X minus 16 Y equals negative 19. Notice that if I were to go ahead and look at the eight and the 16, I can turn that eight into a 16 if I multiply by what? Two. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let me multiply the entire equation by two. So if I do that, what I'll receive my math party people is negative six X plus 16y equals 14. I multiplied everything by two. That's all I did. I multiplied everything by two. I'll rewrite the second equation as it was, and that equation was 7x minus 16y equals negative 19. Let's go ahead and get that done. Here we go. It eliminates right there exactly like we wanted it to. Negative 6x plus 7x conveniently again gives me x. 14 minus 19 is negative five, and we have x equals negative five. Are we done? Yep, we're done, because that's answer choice B, with the only one with x being negative five. Only one. 
let's keep going here. I'm going to go for another problem where when we do our multiplication or division or whatever, um, or multiplication, we're still going to have to do a little bit more work. So let's try this one out here, number three. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, I got a negative 3x and a negative 9x. I could, if I wanted to, multiply this equation by 3. I would want to multiply by negative 3 because if I multiply by negative 3, that's going to give me a positive 9 and that'll be a negative 9. Do you see that? If I multiply this entire equation by negative 3, I'll have a positive 9x and a negative 9x and that can cancel out. On the flip side, you could also multiply the entire equation by 2. But you would probably want to multiply by a negative 2. That way you would have a negative 8y and a positive 8y, and you can cancel out the y's. Either way would work. Are you starting to see where I'm coming from, my math party people? Again, it's up to you to choose what you want to eliminate, how you want to go about it. As long as you create two equations that have the same variables, same numbers, but opposite signs, you're good. So let's go ahead and hop on in here and let's get this done. Excuse the noise right there. But here we go. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this entire first equation here by negative 3. All right? I'm going to multiply the entire first equation by negative 3. So if I do that, again, times negative 3, I'm going to have myself a positive 9x. Multiply that by negative 3, minus 12y. Multiply 5 by negative 3, negative 15. And really quick, before we continue my math part of people, I know you're enjoying this. And you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly, in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before. You know what to do. And that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going and let's get back to the problem. Write that first equation as it was, the same way as it was. And so we're gonna have negative nine X plus eight Y equals 31. Let's add these two equations together and look at the magic happen. We see that the 9x and negative 9x cancel right there, nice and easy. Then we have ourselves negative 12y plus 8y. That's going to be negative 4y. And then from there, we have negative 15 plus 31. That's going to give us a positive 16. Again, look at that. Super straightforward. And now all we have to do is solve for y. And to do that, we divide both sides by that negative 4, and we're good. So let's get that done. Booyah, bam, and we have y equals negative four. Do we have only one of those y's being negative four? Yep, we do. That's answer choice C, because we're good right there. Again, if you had a situation where you had to solve for the other variable, just plug it back in and you're good. Let's go ahead and try one more out here, my part of people. I'm really excited about this because again, at the end of the day, your ability to understand how to get this done, it's gonna spell success all the way down the road. So again, notice how in these problems here, we really only have to modify one equation. There are questions where you'll have to modify both. And that's what the next video is going to be about. Okay. So stay tuned for that next one. That way you can do those worksheets and get those speed drills in. You got this, my party people. So check this one out here. I noticed that we have 11 X and a negative five X. Could I multiply one of these equations by something to make them the same? No, but with the Y's, I could because I have myself over here four and negative eight. So if I just go ahead and modify this equation by multiplying everything by two, look at what happens. I'm gonna have myself 22x plus eight y equals negative 46. Let's repeat this equation right over here. And this is gonna be just negative five x minus eight y equals 29. Look at what happens now. I can go in straight up and just go ahead, add them together, and we're good. Because here, the 8y and the negative 8y cancel out. 22 minus 5 for the x, that's going to give me 17x. Negative 46 plus 29, that's going to be positive or negative 17. So we have 17x equals negative 17. And so the only thing we have to do to both sides is divide by 17. 
x equals negative 1. We are good. Nope, not yet, because look at this. We have a not being it, but we have c, b, and d all having negative 1 for x. And so in this question, what we'll have to do, we'll plug the x back in to any equation, solve it, and we're done. I'll just go ahead and pick the first one here and plug that right in. So we'll have 11x plus 4y equals negative 23. We found that x equals negative 1, so I'll plug that right in. 11 times negative 1 plus 4y equals negative 23. 11 times negative 1 is negative 11 plus 4y equals negative 23. Add 11 to both sides right over there, giving me 4y equals negative 12. And then from there, I go ahead and divide both sides by 4. And I get myself what y equals, which is going to be y equals negative 3. So we had x equals a negative 1 and y equals negative 3. So that is my answer. Negative 1, negative 3. And if I look at this, that's going to be answer B all the way through. And there it is, my math party people. Again, this isn't supposed to be super, super crazy. It's supposed to be a very logical process that we can really rely on. So this is an example or examples where we're using elimination, but before we can eliminate, we just have to modify one of the equations. In the next video, what you'll see is we'll look at equations, system of equations, where you gotta modify both. And that'll be the hardest type that you'll do. It'll be the absolute hardest type, but it's also gonna be very manageable if you've been keeping up up to this point. And so, with that said, my math party people, I'm Anderson, your math coach. I'll see you in the next one. And from there, we'll get the practice in, build that confidence, and never struggle with this again. I'll see you there. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.